Okay, give me one second. Hopefully it's not too loud. Alrighty. Let me just get into the game. Up a ram. We got Selena and then she left. And we have lead, though she's not in my party right now. So we got a bunch of new party members last time. It's always exciting. I guess we're going to go try and get down to shell 7. Um, and hopefully we'll get to deal with some pirates. Arr. Need to book passage off shell? Can I book passage to Shell 7? I'm only going to Shell 3 these days. Pirates are all over the place now that Janaman and Kara are gone. To go to Shell 7, I have to go through the pirate dens of Shell 6. There's no way you'll go? Find someone who can make nice with the pirates in case we get boarded and I'll go. But fat chance on that. My chair's stuck. So let's see. What about you, Corgan? On Shell 3, we use Helgak for transport. We use fast ships made of steel and flesh. Get you where you're going as fast as lightning. Hey, how's it going? Made some new friends, eh, Aram? Aye, and they're looking for passage to Shell 7. Think you can get us there? Just tell me when you're ready. Anytime you want, Maya. No. But remember that I have to go with, or the captain won't go. What news of Shell 7? Strange ships are seen around the mining operations of Janam and Ankara. Some say they mine further into the core than ever before. Where do you want to go then? Okay, we can go back to Shell 3. Hmm. Let's go take a look at Shell 3. There's anything new there. Not so fast, Aram. Duke. Who's this loser? My Devlin. former boss, the leader of the Bounty Hunters. I figure you still owe me for all the trouble you've caused me, Aram. Now pay up. It sounds like such a whiny loser. Alright. Um, oh, these barrier guys are going to be real annoying. Let's take out Duke first, though. Put the head off the snake. putting barriers on myself. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, we have to heal, um... was it? Attack all targets online. Okay, nobody's online, so that kind of sucks. You, you need to heal thyself. Uh, you know, we'll have a ram healer.
Theorem. I don't know, however they want to pronounce his name. Oh man, they're really going for it. Uh, Maya might need to heal herself. Crap. Let's see if she can take one more hit. Okay, that's the hit. They all doing. And the potion seems like such overkill, but breads. I want something that's in between the two. So it gives like a bread worth of healing to all the party members. Like 200 healing, that's ridiculous. Why isn't there like a middle ground? Like I want a shittier potion, like a diluted potion. Lot of bread, maybe we just eat breads. Should have taken out these smaller guys first, shouldn't we have? down a potion, I think. Nice. Thank you. I killed the duke. Really? At a time like this, you're going to steal gold from me? Did he just steal core energy from us or something? That is what he's doing. You bastard. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we're back from Shell 3, nice. So let's see, what key items do we have right now? Mix bowl and bird seed. Take a look at that farm.
Hello there. Is your family safe? Not those in Wind City. But I've heard that the monks of the library are running a secret passage out of the city into South Farm to help in the resistance. This. Hey, baby. Don't even think about it. Ooh, too late. Well, well. Back again, eh? How goes the fight? Not well, child. A new general has been put in charge of the occupation. He is a tyrant. How is the morale inside the city walls? The people don't know what to feel worse about. The situation they're in, or the fact that their own stupidity put them there. Pretty stupid. This shell is so backwards. Swords and shields. And you rely on your, uh, doohickeys there to fight. A, a swordsman becomes one with his weapon, but I think you've taken that idea a little too far. Shut up. Can I interest you in anything? Nope. Where's the crater? Are they still the same? Witch blades? Who uses a witch blade? No one that I have. Oh, I thought that she used the same weapons as the Corgan. Okay, I guess she uses the Witch Blade and he uses the Honor Blade. Yeah. Let's see how much of an improvement. Oh, it's. That's not an improvement at all. I mean, it's, it's better core energy, slightly. But it's a pretty big hit from the Bastard Sword, so I think we'll stick with, um... They'll stick with the Bastard Sword. This is the Might Engine. Now it's the same, it's more core, but for like a lot less striking power. So okay, he doesn't really have anything useful for us. Unless we were going like a very core-focused build. Hello. How are you? Where is everyone? Chosen have scared everyone away. They even took over the Helgak farm for their own. The bastards. Have you seen any of the guard? The Chosen have been asking a lot of questions about you guys. I have to go. Oh, okay. So there's somewhere here on the Helgak farm? Let's see it. Oh, yeah, old lady. I fed some birds. Earthquakes. There's been strange shell movements, hasn't there? Yes. Earthquakes and such. Well, some say they were caused by a piece of the lower shells rising up and slamming under our continent. Did your family survive the invasion? Yes, oh, but my oh, sons have been taken to the farms to harness Helgak for the Chosen. I haven't seen them since. Any news of the guard? If the Chosen see you, they'll strike you down. I can take care of myself. They're hunting down your kind with extreme prejudice. What'll it be? Where are your customers? Taken and recruited to work the farms by the Chosen. Then maybe we can go free them. How about you, lady? You work here? What's the name of this place? The Helgax Head. Oh, okay. Talk to the art guy. What can I do for you? What do you sell here? I carve art from the bones of the Helgak. Okay, what do you know of Helgak? A majestic race of air-dwelling creatures. 
of majestic grace. They float grace. upon the wind as easily as fish swim the sea. But how? They take up air within themselves and heat it, allowing flight. There are bags of hot air. Your skill has improved much, Carver. <laughs> Guardsman, you are too polite. Indeed. Welcome. Look around. Oh. Why do I never have a cursor? Alrighty. Let's get another bread. These potions are expensive. Alrighty. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Go to Wind City, fight some Chosens or something. We're exploring around here. Okay, this is the place with that forest that kicked our ass. Okay, maybe we need to take another look at those things. Save. It's locked. The gates are closed. Exploring. Down here, there was some stone that I touched that summoned bad stuff. Try and take out this Thundercat. Didn't expect to see us again, did ya? Flapping sounds. Just touching the summons like a thing for us to fight. Ow. up your super ability. Uh, 
kill him before he kills mine. Getting lots of soul stones. This summon like a different thing every time we. Oh, okay. So each stone we touch sends. Okay, they were different stones. So we have looks like three more to fight. Get our bread going on, I guess. different colored thundercats. Oh no. I I don't know what I'm doing. Fought two of them and did okay. <laughs> But, oh, oh god. Maybe I need to come back to do more. Uh, really has it out for Corgan. Um, Let's give Corgan a. Um, oh, we don't have a root. Okay, we just give him some bread. And maybe this guy's too tough for us. Keep going until I get a TPK, and then I'll just. I did say it right before this. My guess is we'll be loading that up. Do I need to use magic on this thing? It's gonna be missing with everything else. Okay, before he dies, let's just test out some um, earth. Yeah, we just are not strong enough to fight him right now. Okay, can we get out of this combat? Oh, we can't run away. Okay. Oh, kill me. Jeez. So much for that. Yeah, we did two of them. Let's just not touch more of these until um, that we're a little bit stronger. Let's check out this other thing. Did we not already look at this? Oh, these birds. Um, do you need bird seed, my friends? No? Hmm. Okay, they're weirdly colored birds, so I thought these were the ones that we give the bird seed to, but... Oh, when we feed bird seed to one of these birds, maybe they just come here. Maybe this is where they live now.
one of those windows. We need like a bird for each, and then the tower somehow opens. Okay, so we need to find birds and come back. Still, um, like through through these mountains over near uh, whatever Corgan's place was called. Um, there's still like that. Uh, I don't know, was it an altar or something that we don't have anything to put on just yet? There's something over there that we can interact with. I just forget what it was. Yeah, they had looted some sort of treasure from like a, a stand. Okay. Uh, I can't just leave. I have to talk to this lady, maybe. Where to? This sure. way, please. Okay, so we can get back to shell four. Awesome. I saw it for a moment up in the corner. There we go. Need a book passage off shell? Oh, you know, how are we doing for health and stuff? Not great. Let's go sleep. We'll go take a nap and then we will journey to um, shell seven. Though it sounds like we have to go through six first. Um, I want to get back to, I guess, whoever's left of Shell 5, because there's still that, um, whole sewer area that we didn't explore. Maybe while we're here, we'll say hi to, um... Grub. Nope, can't talk. <laughs> well, howdy, sir. I'd like to rent a room. Do you have a room for the night? This looks like a child's drawing. I, I don't understand. Go back to the shipping area. Where that? Where is it? We need to go down. And down two floors, right? Hello. I'm ready now, sir. Need a book passage off shell? You bet. Where you want to go then? Well, that's cool.
I haven't seen a place like this since the resource wars. What? Ten years ago, mining operations were all over down here. Janam wanted more land and sent a secret shock trooper team to get rid of some of Ankara's claims. You were there? Me and the captain here fought for Jinam. When the truth came out about our troops killing innocents, there was practically a revolution. Soldiers like me weren't welcome at home anymore. So destroyed. you became a bounty so hunter at the World Bazaar? Yeah. Aram lost his arms in that war. He was a demolitions expert and... Uh... Shut up. Let's get on with it. Loaded the old hands, you know. Circle Village. This is real neat looking. They're protecting their village, but they don't seem to be coming past a certain distance. Is that just like backwards audio, their speech? So that's the thing. South from this? Where do we get to this side? The mold forest. I guess we have to figure out this place first. I don't see anything else to interact with. I need like a universal translator somewhere. Okay. Who doesn't want bird seed? Okay, I guess we aren't supposed to come here yet? Do we have to go back and do things on Shell 3 then? Because I don't see anywhere else to go. Just this village that we don't seem to be able to interact with. Just yet, at least. And um, a bunch of stuff over this mountain ridge. I don't see any like path through the mountain. There's no... Uh, no more yet I can go into. Okay, let's go talk to, um... Talk to our ship dude again. What can you tell me of this shell? Watch yourself. The Underlost live here, and they ain't friendly. Underlost? I've heard that it gets pretty dark here during certain parts of the year. Yeah, 
Some of the local animals are bioluminescent. Some see in the dark or use a radar wave to see. We'll need a ride back. Just don't stay too long. I'm getting bored already. Is there anything else that we can interact with on this screen? Yeah, I guess let's go back. Where to? How often do you travel off shell? Never. Got everything I need right here. Can I interest you in anything? This symbol looks ancient. Reminds me of the style of the Seven Winds. The ancient army of Marduk? Aye, the Seven Winds. One army from each world shell to defeat Gemma. Some say that the tunnels lead to Marduk's lost city. about weird spooky aliens. Maybe the monks. Maybe I do need to go and read all those stupid books. Let's go talk to the monks. Read the book passage off shell? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We should bring um, Lad instead of Corgan. She has a big ranch. Maybe, maybe we can use it for that uh, brass thing. Corgan too is the problem. Let's see if she can fix that thing that Grub couldn't. If, um, 
If he leaned just slightly more forward, he'd be Naruto running. Like his hands look like they're behind him when he runs. Read the book passage off shell? Yeah. Where you want to go then? Oh wait, we can go to shell three without him. Crap. Can I just can I change my party here? No, I have to. I have to walk all the way back to the repute. All right. Now let's say Corrigan instead of him. instead of new guy. Uh, it's super annoying having to walk all, all the way back here to change party members. with me. Like, like, even though I just have these three in my party, why wouldn't we all get on this airship and go places? That way I can easily, like, change up my party Where like, you wanna go when then? I get somewhere. Explored this lake? Okay, that is a thing. What is this? What's the stuff here? Okay, do I need like a boat or something? Do I need a Pokemon that knows surf? Oh, is this actually the same map as the reservoir? Go in this guy's tunnel. Redaring later, let's just see if we can fix this. Looks like a quick fix would help. Yeah! There. Good as new. <laughs> Thank you. That globe has been broken for many years. Please, take this in gratitude. Oh. Okay, that's still not very exciting.
Yes, it wasn't. It's locked. Where is Book of Helgak? Big Book of the Conjunction. Elementals, demigods. Or energy. Okay, I'll read about fake cards. Back again? Have you felt the recent earthquakes? What causes them? An entire landmass was moved from Shell 5 and slammed under your own city. Impossible. Powerful forces must be at work. Many died in the catastrophe. If it can use these new dead to swell the ranks of its zombie army, the curse will grow in power. So he does not have anything on like translating alien languages or culture of the underlost or whatever. So at least we fixed this globe. And we have grenades now. Maybe we can open um, that pathway in the catacombs. Hopefully these guys are just as strong as they were last time. They got bones here. Those on bones. Oh, that feels good. that we probably won't be farming any decent XP here, but I know that wasn't actually a horrible experience. What a big tomb. Must have been a big shot. Yeah. Okay. Taking a 
will just attack when I'm at like two hits. That feels so, so good. Everyone doing a one shot. Wait. What's that saying? Resurrect fake card. Okay, that's very much worth it. Did we just miss that the first time through? Because I'm blind? Have one, let's take this out. stronger. Just a little bit. Let me open this. This wall looks unstable. This wall could be brought down with some explosives. I believe the catacombs stretch on here, but I don't see any way through. Damn it. Uh, really? I have to find some sort of an explosive or buy some sort of an explosive somewhere? For sure, I'd be able to go through there now. Well, I am glad that we came back here for a fake card, but very disappointed at the same time.
have to, I guess, find um, explosives. That's a lot of No match for me. A lot more fighting level up. Especially against these weak things. Hey, how's Aaron going? Maya, you return. Dasky has got to Shell 5 first. Of I he wiped out Ankara and Janam. Both? Ankara is in ruins. Janam was raised until it slammed under your own world shell. Ugh. That must be the cause of all the earthquakes recently. Have you seen Dasky's ship return? No, he seems to have disappeared. He's mining the core. The source of wealth for the Shell Five Nations. No wonder he wanted them out of the picture. What does he plan to do with it? To create giant lenses and cause an artificial conjunction. The Chosen Lord Gunner believes Dasky's actions could give him untold power. He must be stopped. Yeah. How goes the Resistance in the library? They have gathered much help. People begin, slowly, to desire the fight. How goes it in South Farm? Most of the men have been forced to work the farm to supply the Chosen with fresh parts for their demon ships. Have there been many earthquakes? A few weeks ago, several large quakes hit our shell when the continent weeks of Janam ago. slammed under our own. I fear the curse will resurrect the dead of Janam and grow stronger. I'm from Ankara. Maya tells me that your enemy, Janam, now lies under our very feet. You can thank my dad for that. Sure. Any news from the town of Armstrong? I'm afraid no survivors have been found, Corgan. Bastards. Bastards. Go take a nap. You don't have explosives, do you? No.
Oh, why am I letting the bars fill? I'm sure we'll just one shot them. Four poppers. Feels real bad. 33 damage is enough to kill one. Okay, this is a tougher one. lot tougher, but... Whoa, 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 I thought that we were slain. <sighs> Skins. fight the Thundercat. Oh. That's where it usually was, right? I guess it's dead. There's only one. Oh no, now this place is full of zombies. Okay, being different is a good sign. Go up to that graveyard now. Actually, let's go up here first. Kind of eerie with it being no soldiers wandering around. Yeah, let's use um, his weird core energy thing, core force. I want to see it. Okay, that was really cool. Really like Corrigan. Whoa, what are you? Okay, it looks like that statue thing. I think. Okay, it's done. 
It's very tough. We will have to absorb it. Ooh, oh no 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 no! What? Okay. Um. Um. Hmm. Hmm. What the heck do we do here? Might be a reloading time. Let's just see how much health this dude has. He has a lot of health. Yeah, we are screwed. Why, why can't we run away? Okay, let's just let him kill me. That was cool. Yeah, we should not be here, I guess. Okay, luckily it auto-saved us on the world map. Not expecting a uh, crazy powerful undead there. Didn't kill him in one hit. The one more down here. So I'm very much lost on where I'm supposed to be going. I'm sure it's like a real simple sort of puzzle that I'm just trying to solve and I just am not understanding. Go to shell seven. But there's weird alien things that we can't talk to. We can come here to shell three. Where we just aren't strong enough to kill a lot of the things.
to leave this place. They stay relatively lined up. Oh, I only got two. I'm fine. the bird tower this is the uh, spooky forest of fighting thundercats we can't seem to do anything in wind city and the reservoir is locked let's try and look through everyone that sells things again to see if we can find either something to make an explosive or Something we can use our mixing bowl on. Do you sell again? Welcome. Look around. Must be something still on shelf four, but don't know. Don't know what. This lake that we don't know how to cross. Look at that again. Be something to interact with here. The records don't show where. Just a random useless beach. I don't. Maybe I need to bring Runner to talk to those weird alien things. Where to? Yeah. This way, please. please. sewer here that we don't know how to get into. So. Will it be? Uh, 
Throw up grenades and napalm. Maybe we need to go back to the bounty hunter area. Sword lady, you have a bomb. Hello, take your time. Nope. What was in here? There was a, a bird or something here, I think. Who are you? Bounty hunters. Looking to hire one? No, I... Then you ain't coming in. I do want to hire one. Yeah, I don't know. We'll talk to everyone again in the red light district. With um, a ram in our party? I don't know. Which let out for for him. <laughs> Guess we're not going that way. I guess they wouldn't have any explosives. They will go topside and go shopping. Hello. Hello, take your time. I will. Hello. What do you sell? Healing herbs and medicine.
have the mix bowl, but I still don't know what to do with it. Hello, take your time. Not seeing anything it's like an explosive. Okay, let's take Runner with us and go talk to those aliens. Maybe somehow does that makes sense. If I can't understand either of them, that means they can surely understand each other. Nope, not that way. Need to find another one of those explosive uh, boxes. Bring that back to the graveyard. Hmm. Excuse me. Did uh, step a bit too late last night, so I'm a little bit tired. Read the book passage off shell. You betcha. <laughs> Runner's not gonna be of any help. Oh well, let's go see. Where you wanna go then? Shall set. Yep, having a runner here did nothing. interact with in this entire zone. Oh! Oh, we just had to keep going north. I'm... I am dumb. Uh, so... I wish we didn't have Runner with us, but that's fine. I want, I want my boy Corrigan back. This. Can't go into the lava pits. Go to East Mountain Caverns, that's how we go to Moria. Guess that's where we're going then. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah. Save. Giant enemy crab, that's always good. Ooh. 
big weird beetle. fully charged before I attack here. Let's go check out this dead end. Oh, it really is just a dead end. Okay, that's lame. Another ramp up over there. We can't explore up that. Where's that giant enemy crab? Is it up this ramp? A oh, runner's actually horrible for fighting giant enemy crabs, but. Time it takes runner to attack once. Need a can opener ability. Charged. Keep doing that, keep attacking the enemy. Oh, yeah. oh, it's gotta be almost dead, come on.
Well, he wasn't fully charged to a pip yet. How did he attack? He's cheating. I don't gonna get anything interesting from killing him. Yep, that was it. Let's eat a bread. Halfway down. Ooh, there's an exit this way. Or there's an exit. Let's go down. Where's this take me? Oh, to more caves. Amazing. Okay, so what is this way? Whoa, what is that? What is it? Neo dude or something. Oh, it's a wasp nest. Okay. Hey, Star. I did, I did. I hope you did as well. Look your um mushroom the other night. Is this leading? What is this? It's it's all glowy here. It's nothing. But the mining ruins and the mold forest. Mold. Go to the mining rooms or the mold forest or the dark lake. Okay, there are three options. Oh, I can't wait to uh to check that out. Star. I guess let's look at these mining rooms. Maybe there I find the explosive to open up that um hidden wall in the catacombs. 
like if I want some dynamite or something, it'd be at a mining camp. Oh. Looks like a lantern of some sort. They're not what I wanted. But sure. Yeah, yeah, I just need some high powered explosives. Oh, there's just a person. Looks here. like explosives. Yeah, we found the explosives. Perfect. What are you doing here? The only person that lives here. Tell me about the creatures that live near the giant bone circles. The Underlost. They're blind, but that glowing patch on their foreheads, that's stuff they can see as if it's burning in their minds. They also use radar waves to see, so some vibrations and sonics can hurt them like a dog. I, I think them Outlanders got a sonic device hooked up under the village. The sound travels through the bone circles and keeps them at bay until the Chosen need more slave labor. What's with that dude's voice? Jeez. Uh, tell me about the Chosen. Have you seen any strange ships? Nothing but for days. They keep hauling away cargo for their operation in the mold forest. I know he said mold forest. It sounded like he said mole forest. Are you the only one left? Yeah, I guess. We got some stuff left over, though, like explosives. <laughs> Me and Johnny used to use that stuff to fish in the lakes around here. <laughs> Right. What kind of material it is pretty is creepy. Here? The whole core is covered with a crystal called corite, like diamond, only better. Builds up from all the pressure of the world shells beating down on the core over millions of years. We work it into lots of stuff, from lenses to jewelry. You know how to shape it? Why, it's my specialty. <laughs> of course it is. What happened here? Whole mine was destroyed. Can't you see that? The Outlanders took over the mines in the Mold Forest. Any explosives around? You know how to handle them? I was a demolitions expert for Janam. Lost my arms because of it. Oh, so you're not very good at it. Someone asked me if I'm good with explosives, I'm like, yeah, that's how I lost these arms. <laughs> Not sure that sells it. Okay. So we still have a dark lake and a creepy mold forest. Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> Absolutely would not be. Uh, thank you for just stopping by. What is up with this map now? Okay. Why is there? Thank you. Oh no, another Helgak! I didn't realize they would live here. We have to kill him immediately. Berserk got the same person twice. Ow. Wait, is that thing an enemy? Oh, it is. It's like a big, um pulsating thing. Okay, let's let his ability charge up. We can hit both the Helgak and the uh, Pustule. I don't know. Nice. Well, let's see if we can kill this thing now. Easy.
pets. It's too deep to cross, and it looks poisonous. During the resource war, these pools killed many a man trying to cross them. Very poisonous. We used to dynamite the lakes and walk over the dead Helgak that would float to the surface. What? Wait. Why would dead Helgak float to the surface? Do Helgak live in the water? In the poison water? I do not understand it at all. So, let's save. This feels like a strange place to use our explosives because we need them back on shell three. But maybe, maybe we can throw some dynamite in there. Really? Why are there a ton of dead Helgax just sitting around? Okay. Whoa. So Terracord not responding. Is it going to crash? Is this our first crash? It might be. Yep. I just have a swirling busy thing. Let's give it a moment. I'm going to get some drink or whatever. I'll be right back. Um...
game is still not responding, I'm going to have to start it over. Close the Terracor. A sad, sad day indeed. So let's try that again. It's gonna happen every time I throw an explosive in here. I just wanna know if it uses up the explosive. If it does, I think I should instead go back to shell three and use it there. Okay. Oh no, I tried to go into my menu. So it didn't immediately crash. I did walk like two steps. Uh, but I think it's crashed again now. Okay, I'm gonna give it just a moment. Yeah, it's not very cool. Don't try and get it back, start it again. Let's see. Catch. Eat lad. They'll bury you in a lunchbox. Here, catch. Here, here, catch. Eat lad. Eat, 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 eat. Eat lad. Here, in the here, beginning, catch. the creator brought forth the shining eat jewels lad. of the universe and all. Eat, eat, eat. I wish it saved these settings. I have to have my eardrums burst every time that I start the game. Um, so maybe we just don't cross here. That's cool. We just won't um, throw that explosive in. Hopefully we never have to do that. Okay, we're going through down here. Well, that's a... It's an even worse map. Jesus. Is this full of Chosen? Okay, let's go back, maybe. We have an explosive, and we have a Bioloom Lantern. Maybe we can use the lantern to interact with those underlost. And uh, we'll go use the explosive at the catacombs. Hopefully that's the right call. Well, it doesn't crash there, too.
Yeah, there's a whole path here that we didn't take. You know what? Sure. I'm down for some exploration. What are you, a big grasshopper? It's beetle things. The zones always look way bigger on this map uh, view than they actually are. Oh no! Wasps. My sworn enemy. My swarm enemy. Disgusting. Die, foul creature. <laughs> yeah, let's see what's out of this zone. Oh, that sound is scrambling my brain. Let's get out of here. Okay, that must be the Sonic thing chosen put under their village, right? I need to go buy earplugs, I guess. And there are plenty of people, I think, who sell them, so... Let's grab some earplugs and come back here, and hopefully that'll solve it. I hate these controls. This is the clunkiest feeling game. No, this is the giant enemy crab. I don't want to go there either. way out. Up a ramp there. Okay, yeah, that's awkward. I don't know how to leave. I think I do. I feel like all the way around. Yeah, okay, I didn't realize I can walk under that. Derp. And yeah, we have uh, a couple of beetles. It's simple enough. It was nice having Runner again, but I hate how slow he is. I won't be bringing him back here. We'll uh, go get my boy Corgan. Fully charged. Fully operational. Well, I need to think about also, I guess that 
runner is pretty much the only one, I think, who's not got, like, maxed out gear and stuff, so... He would be doing, I'm sure, a lot more damage if we had him actually kitted out properly. And maybe we'll buy him some some treats. Okay, let's go talk to these goofy bioloom people. If we can. Play of a game. Look, I have light. Okay, never mind. Maybe I need to turn off the Sonic machines first. Too. Um, for. Excuse me. Let's go get um runner some some gear before we leave. Will it be? It will it be? No, don't steal from him. Let's see, a power engine would be fantastic for him. Wait, he can use napalm? That's really expensive, though. Um, sure. I didn't realize they can use napalm. Let me to get him some armor that um, focuses on speed. And then uh, we can sell his old stuff. Hello, take your time. Hello. I do not want to lower his speed. I want to increase his speed if possible. Thirty seven is that the bath that we're getting? Downgrade to a med coat. That would get me one more speed. Might be worth it though.
could go for the heavy coat just so he has more armor. Speed difference. Yeah. There we go. Maybe I will equip the napalm from her and give it to him. Oh, I love that you can visibly see it. Who sells earplugs? Someone Hello. Does. What do you sell? Healing it's herbs not this and lady. medicine. The, the one up here sells rings and stuff. Hello, take your time. Hello. Yeah, it's you. Let's get three earplugs. Let's sell some of this stuff. Let's see. We can sell this. With these two, it might make sense to give Grub. Cool. Go swap in Corrigan. Maybe we'll keep running for a bit. Take Runner to the uh, graveyard with us. Oh, let's put on our earplugs. No, no, we don't need to do that yet. But we have. We're ready. For when we inevitably go back to Shell 7. Give Runner a little test, see how much damage he does now that he's fully upgraded. Need a book passage off shell? You betcha. Where you wanna go then? Now we need to run all the way through that uh, 
graveyard again. Fun. Uneventful. This will be a little bit harder just because runner charges up so slowly. charge up to this level 2 and we'll see how much damage that does in comparison to the others. Oh, well, maybe they can even line up for me. That'd be great to take them both out. Let's try it. Nope, just one. So he is still doing a lot more damage, but... I still feel like with him being so slow that it's not worth it. Even if I gave him like um, a medium coat or something that lowered his armor and increased his speed, he's just too slow. Oh wow. Expect to miss there. I wonder if Runner on like one as like level one action if he can kill a zombie in one hit. We're gonna have to test that out. Oh, just zombies. Him. Let's see if he can do it. Come on, brother. No, not quite. He'd kill a wolf in one hit, but. Goodness, every two steps we're getting into an encounter. That's why I get to this dang door. I don't know, for the skulls of might need to actually let these charge up. Eat the one. Very cool. Came all the way back here with an explosive. Uh, let's save in case the game crashes again. Bam. Come on. Did that not do anything? Let me click on it. Like it highlights it. Are you kidding me? Don't do it from further away. Don't tell me we walked all the way back here with an explosive for nothing. This wall looks unstable. I believe the catacombs stretch on here, but I don't see any way through. <laughs> it's explosives. Again, it's 
highlighting it, but okay. Well, that sucks. Thought for sure that that would be what does it. Maybe we do just need to throw it into the river then. Hope we don't crash. Uh, I cannot tell you how disappointed that makes me. Highlights and everything, like it's it's a valid interaction. Do I need a particular person in my party? Do I need Aram with me because he's the explosives person? Try what? Try try it with um uh a, a ROM or whatever in my party. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Where to? This way, please. I think that we um wouldn't be able to use it at all without him, though. That's lame. At least if that is the case. It's just I have to run all the way back to this shell. Then run all the way back to the red light district. Change party members. Then run all the way back to the ship dude. To get back to shell 3. And then run all the way back to the catacombs. Um. <sighs> it's very clunky. I wish that the whole party traveled in the airship. And then I could just go to like uh, that uh, the air airship terminal or whatever, and they'd be there waiting, and I could change my parties there without having to leave the shell. You, you're coming with me. Keep Corey. I'm pretty okay health wise. He's not even that good at using explosives. Presumably blow off his own arms and do these arms even look like they'd be like super good at manipulating like tiny things They don't look super dexterous to me Read the book passage off shell? Yeah, get me out of here. Where do you want to go then? Want to blow stuff up. My one true calling in life. I'm sure there's other stuff we could blow up. And if we can blow up the door to um, the reservoir. Whatever. I've waited so long to get in here. Just let me in. I pray I'm dead. Let's cleanse the den, the den of evil.
these things don't even give me enough XP to, uh... We, we have the explosives. We have the guy that can use the explosives. I'm trying desperately to get to the door that I can use them on. I just want to blow this thing up. No, I've not blown it up yet, and I'm very salty about it. And that's the wrong door. We, uh... I've walked all the way to the door. Apparently, I really do need that uh, red-haired guy. Because we sat there and we tried to blow it up, and I just... I couldn't. Can't do it without him. So I had to run all the way back, change out party members to, uh, to get him again. the second time I have to fight my way through all of these within like the last 10 minutes. Now you take that hit. I don't even know why I really need the explosives. Like... We have guns and stuff. See how unstable it looks. Surely we could kick it down or something. Take out this last one. But we'll use everyone's like level one ability. I just want to walk more than ten feet without having a fight. Actually, the worst thing that these these encounters—they're just completely beneath me and not worth my time at this point. Like all that these enemies can do is just like barely scratch me. So why am I even having to fight them? You're kidding me! I still can't use it. If I had the right explosives, I could probably punch a hole through here. You have them. Are they not the right explosives? They're like the slightly wrong explosive. Again, like it highlights it there. Surely this should work. Yes, they're the wrong explosives. Well, 
we have earplugs. Let's go back, I guess. Um, no, not up here. Go back to Shell 7. Go into the weird swamp. I don't mind the game not like holding my hand, but when like I, I click on it, it highlights as if I can do something. I don't even get like any feedback. Like I at least have like a, a one line, like one of the characters be like, "That's not quite the right type of explosive." Like, give me some sort of feedback on what I'm doing wrong. Like, it doesn't have to tell me, this is what you need to do. You need to, you know, step one. It doesn't need to tell me that. But if you're going to make it be, like, an interaction that looks like a real interaction, the character needs to have some sort of feedback. I hope that it's not just that, like, my save is bugged or something. Where to? This way, That's please. Helpful. Now we go back to shell seven. Read the book passage off shell? You bet. Where you want to go then? Okay. Go back through Moria and get to um, that underground passage. I'll equip the earplugs on all three of us, and we'll see if that lets me successfully uh, enter that area. I guess we'll have to try just throwing the explosive into the water until it doesn't crash. Beetles down here, right? Yeah. Just realized they have five eyes. Okay, this beetle is not long for this world. You don't need to fully charge to kill it. And maybe I can use both Corrigan and uh, Aram's level one to to kill this. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's a uh, church level two. Guys, why are you missing? I'll leave it to Maya to actually be able to shoot things. Go all the way around here. down here. Cool. The end of this snaky passage. We should be able to um, put on our earplugs. And I'll save first. Ooh, giant enemy crab. Avoid at all costs. Oh, 
Oh, whoa, his, his ability goes and hits multiple things at once? I did not know that. Okay, I like him way better now. I did not know that he attacks in a line. Oh, that sound is scrambling my brain. Let's get out of here. Oh. Earplug. Earplug. And how about an earplug? Yes. Puzzle solved. I guess this is gonna be a big fight here. Whoa, it looks what like is it's this? drawing power from the heat of the lava. Um, what am I fighting? Is this thing alive? It does look kind of bug like. Oh! Okay, let's. Um, Oh, it's not so tough. Oh, oh no, it's very tough. What? How did that just about kill him? No! Please don't kill Maya. Okay, we need to use a potion ASAP. thing. It's... Oh, it's actually three, three arms. Okay, I have to break all three, I guess. I would have attacked the leftmost one. I might have hit both, um, two of them. Oh, well. Let's focus on the rear. Why didn't we save before we went in here as well? Feeling pretty dumb. And how much damage does this thing do? 21. What almost killed? Did it just get like a crit or something? Okay, we did some damage. Poor force. That's not fantastic, but uh, water. Still pretty unimpressive. Let's eat a bread. Eat a bread before I'm dead. You too, Maya. You need some bread. Everyone, eat bread. Bread party. Should have observed one of the legs. Trying to gauge, uh... Eat breed? <laughs> Let's observe a leg, just see what we're dealing with here. No, okay. We get no information at all. That's awesome. Grenade. Okay, it does hit both of them, so that's cool. 
for this. And again, here's another core um, core energy, core force or whatever. Uh, it's just about time to eat more bread, it looks like. Core force. You eat breads. Fuck a grenade. Please, one of these needs to snap. Let me know that I'm not that far from front, please. I wish I could see his hit points with the observe. I think this is a, a fair time to go through our grads. Go for this arm. Ugh. Of course I missed the one that I actually would prefer to hit. Did it just heal itself? That... Hmm, that bastard. Okay, I'm running pretty long core energy. I might need to uh, eat a core rune or something soon. Oh, you, you need deep red, sir. Core force anymore? Oh, I do. Let's do it. Okay, I'll have Maya um, eat a core rune. Nom, 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 nom. It's just healing itself like faster than I can damage it, I feel like. The heck? Well, I mean, at least having it heal itself is keeping it from attacking me, but... Oh, finally. One down. This makes the grenade a lot less useful. Uh, so I'll just let Maya fully charge her uh, beam cannon. I guess all of them can fully charge now. I'm gonna go for this uh, rear leg, I think. Yeah, they might need to eat bread. One arm left. Awesome. This was this was tough. Hopefully, there's like another phase after this where all the arms are gone and it like rises up and there's like a whole body buried under the lava that attacks us. 
I mean, that'd be rad, but... Okay, we're all breaded up. Let's just charge. get a decent amount of um, XP for this. Corgan accidentally jumps into the lava when he attacks it. That'd be hilarious. Oh no, no, that's not fair. It can grow back lost limbs? Plus no. Don't do this. Don't do this to me, game. Killing me. How am I supposed to do this? Okay, focus everything on this remaining one, please, before the other one heals up. I'm so pissed right now. We just can't take them down quickly enough, I feel like. Let's use, use um, water again. Here, cool it down. Chill out. Uh, can we all just do that? Is that the most effective way to use our magicka? I don't know. Earth does very little to this. This is obviously an Earth based creature. I don't know why I even tried. Join me. Please don't regrow any limbs. Spent too much time eating breads. Whew, we did it. Well, the noise is gone. Nice. Fire. Holy crap, that's a lot of XP. Orkin gained two levels. Arain gained two levels. Awesome. 9,000 gold. Heck yeah. Okay, we should probably save. Uh, explosive, sure. Now we can go try and talk to those people again, maybe. Now 
Nice. Okay, I think we're doing more damage than that. We're all higher level. Core energy is also up. Ring is looking good. Man. Whoop. Save her from that bug. Is there anything? No. Not worth exploring. Is that like chittering sound the sound these wasps make? Guess that's when I get a chance to watch the wasps. Where giant enemy crab is. I need to go here. Two beetles, then we're out of here. Wait, do we want to go out here? No. We go talk to that miner dude again about the underlost. Because honestly, I don't really remember what he was saying about the um, the lights. The uh, biolume lantern that we have would let um let us get some sort of like an interaction with them. He said they can see the the lights on their heads or something. Any explosives around? You know how to handle them? I was a demolitions expert for Jinam. Lost my... Tell me about the Underlost again. Tell me about the creatures that live near the giant bone circles. The Underlost? They're blind, but that glowing patch on their foreheads, that stuff they can see as if it's burning in their minds. They also use radar waves to see, so some vibrations and sonics can hurt them like a dog. I think them Outlanders got a sonic device hooked up under the vil- Okay. So... Hmm. It's actually not very helpful. Come back here, let's go try and talk to them first. Yeah, they can see the weird bioluminescent lights on themselves. Do we need to like use that lantern to give them some sort of signals? No, oh, we're still pretty low health. Oh well. We heal up later. Corrigan, you're the man. So three breads. I could just use one on each of us, but I don't know. We might not even need to fight. Let's just save. Um right outside of their village. 
we really need the health, we can always fly back to Shell 4 and um, just go to sleep at the end. Okay, let me in here. Save. Molt Force. Sure. No, no, I did not save. No sudden moves. I don't think they trust us. No duh. So now do I use the lantern? get a better look at this lantern. Is it like empty? Do I need to use that mortar and pestle to like grind up some sort of bioluminescent plants to make fuel for this lantern? <laughs> Damn. Oh, we can look at these. There's hollow areas in the bone, like a tubing. I wonder what goes in there. I have no knowledge of such things. <laughs> Might make good target practice. The bone circles or the people? What's the difference? Okay. There's hollow areas in the bone, like a tubing. I wonder what goes in there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Go sleep. We accomplished something though. That's that's good. Where to? I still have to go back through and explore the mold forest and dark lake. Which I am not really looking forward to based on how either of those maps look. Uh, we still haven't been able to go back to Shell 5. I don't know if we will actually be able to. Certainly hope that we will. But I have a feeling that we won't. Uh, I think that's probably a good point for me to go make dinner. Uh, let's take a sleep first. Do you have a room for the night? And we will replenish our potions at the store. I should probably name the save game something to that regard. Buy potions. Oh, blast. Now, the elements. Oh, we can combine, resurrect, 
and summoned to summon Thanatos. You can also create undead barriers. Okay, we'll have to call forth the spirit of death to attack next time. That sounds really cool. Um, um, I don't think there's any point rating or something, so I'm just going to get off. Have a great rest of your evening, and um, Sunday I'll hopefully be able to play more Fallout, hopefully for longer this time because we won't have any, any guests. So, later. But yeah, I'm having a lot of fun here. And uh, definitely, Alex, next time we will have to open it with a last time on Subterra Cool. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be great. Well, peace out.